Hello, welcome to this video. Thanks for tuning in, sharing in this now moment with myself and with one another. If you haven't seen these videos before, welcome, welcome back. If you have, my intention is unity and oneness and the highest levels of love light. So this is going to be kind of a continuation um, of a video that I did previously. And we'll kind of see where it goes. I just want to do a recap of that video and just kind of share with everyone some exciting news that we've had um, and just some changes in my own reality um, and synchronicities. And then we're going to go into a flow with the guides. So the messages that keep coming up over and over again within the last month for me have been changes in the human body, changes in the architecture of our reality, astrological changes, of course, that reflects this as well as um, some things that have happened in my world. So uh, one of the biggest issues that has been coming up, and when I say issues, we'll say difficulties for many humans at this stage is dis-ease. Uh, sickness, uh, primarily cancer being one of them. We, my husband and I, actually just went through something very similar. It's been in our reality for uh, some time now. Um, he was diagnosed with cancer and uh, the doctor had said it was aggressive and this was something that was clearly a very stressful uh, very stressful news for us and it's been an it, it just an interesting journey when that happens how much it changes everything perspectives thoughts feelings frustrations come up fears come up it brings up everything brings up our own fear around well when we have a loved one that has it, we sometimes go, well, do I have it? And these are all things that are coming up for a lot of people right now. Um, the good news is um, we just received the news that he is now, they don't have, they can't find any traces of cancer in him right now. He did not go through traditional um, radiation or chemotherapy. This was all the very beginning stages. This has been going on for maybe the last seven or eight months okay so for seven or eight months he was diagnosed with this cancer and then all of a sudden he was told that they have no they can't find any trace of it In my previous video i talked about what he did and i'm going to share that with you guys i want to just start with a disclaimer saying this is not medical advice and i always suggest when i'm working with someone and in my own reality do your due diligence we went to multiple um multiple um doctors medical doctors and had all of the tests um and did everything that the doctors said to do so um but also got multiple um pieces of advice from multiple sources so that we could make an educated decision um based on what we felt was the right direction to go some of the things that we participated in were ivermectin, um, red light therapy, red light sauna, uh, certain vitamins, cleansing and purifying, cleanses, and biogeometry, as well as energy work, of course. So all of those things are taken into account with us. I have a friend who was running these biogeometry programs this whole time. So could it be a combination of all of those things? Absolutely. Does that mean everyone should not go through, you know, the traditional, we would have potentially gone through the traditional route if that was what was going to be the next option. But our thoughts were, let's do as much as we can now in order to avoid that and here we are it's very exciting okay i don't know what just happened with my lighting um not gonna worry about it so keeping in mind all of these things we never know what somebody else is going through and the other message that continually comes up is compassion having compassion for our fellow humans, what they might be experiencing is so important. Um, and staying out of judgment about their situation, because I do see that a lot. And it came up for us, like, what do we do wrong? 
right? Um, is this punishment? All these things come up and that might be another video we'll go into at a later time. The other message that's been coming up is, um, is giving ourselves the opportunity to, to, to grow without limiting ourselves on how much we think that should be. We have this idea of what we're capable of. And we are, from what my guidance team keeps saying, my light keeps going on and off. Um, typical light bulb goes on, light bulb goes off. Um, we are capable of much more than we think we are. I mean, my guidance team lately has been like much more. The human body isn't even fully comprehensible. The brain is not fully comprehensible. And what we thought, what we believed, um, my last video, I said it's programmable. Our body is programmable to get us into whatever the next level is we wanna go to. And it does it on its own. If we're not blocked, if we aren't holding ourselves back, and that can be done environmentally, we feel like it's being done to us, but in actuality, we're at a phase where we can all recognize we're in the driver's seat. So this is something that's affecting you in your life. We, I just did tons of research. I constantly do. I have moments where I get, I've, when I had a Kundalini activation, I got so sick, I didn't know what was going on. And it took me a year of changing my diet, of trying not to freak out. I wasn't always successful at that. And that, because of that, I learned so much that I'm now able to help others also learn. So, or grow or whatever it is. And I feel strongly that's part of my, why I go through things in this, or I have gone through things in such a difficult way. Had I not experienced these things, I wouldn't be able to help somebody else who might be going through similar patterns. And I do find that when I'm going through something, all of a sudden it's reflected back to me and other people who are going through the same thing are drawn to me. So it's the way I feel that the universe reflects back to us. Oh, this is how I can help this person. That's ironic. I just went through this. Let me share with you what I did that worked for me. Here's a little piece of information that you might find helpful. So these are all things to keep in mind. Okay. I sure I'm forgetting something there, but let's go into a little flow. And uh, I keep hearing stability, stability, stability. Okay. There's an idea of what stability is. And many of us have had a false sense of stability. We think our reality is stable. It isn't meant to be. The stability is meant to come from inside of us. And that then reflects out, uh, that reflects out, and we are then able to stabilize everything because of what it is that we're projecting out. That's something that the message that's been coming up as well. Um, prayer, 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 prayer changes frequency. It changes your vibration. It is a projection. It is an asking. It is an opening. It is a holding space for something bigger. And it's also hope or faith or letting go of expectations, although oftentimes we pray with an expectation of that coming to us. And that's okay too. There's this message that I've always shared, let go of expectations. It's letting go of the expectations of how it's going to look, when it's going to show up, what it's going to look like, and who or what it's going to come from. And trusting that source, energy, we, our angels, whatever we want to put our trust in, the spirit that moves through all things has our back, is our back, is behind us, in us, moving through us, working with us, as we are all the medium of that. So that's something that takes practice. It's not always easy to feel trust. I speak from experience there on so many different levels. 
Okay. I think I'm just going to go into a little flow from there. Maybe I'll ask some questions. Let me think about this. Feel into this. Okay, I'm hearing ideas of self. We have been so programmed to, this was the last video, I'm gonna repeat this a bit, not all of it, to have expectations based on what we think we need or what the world is going to offer us. But the world that we were living in is no longer. So we're really being called to review, reassess, and shift with what is now. And we cannot conceptualize necessarily what is now because we only know or we can only see based on how we've been taught, how we've learned to see. So it's new eyes to see, seeing with eyes to see. Um, and that's difficult to really express. But think about how we saw things when we were a teenager versus how we see things now. And that's not always a better thing. Sometimes we're more cynical now than we were when we were kids. We had more awe. We had more joy. We could find joy in the little things. Unless you had a difficult childhood and it was hard to find joy. And now maybe we I have a beautiful life, but we can appreciate what we have because of our difficult childhood. That's all a program, though. That's all a musical quality that we've been singing and sung into a note, a frequency, right? So these are all just things to keep in mind. Change our tune. Change what we're tuning into. Change our fortune why we're tuning into it what for okay so let's just go into a little a little uh wordplay and as we up tune as we shift into a higher dimensional frequency of light vocabulary it's gonna be wordplay as we construct make our constructive criticism and we'll joke for a moment with that for to be criticized to be cut down to size to critically analyze changes the frequency in which we are seeing our own rate of conductivity in which we are conducting at our rate of speed let us allow ourselves to slow down in order to speed up let us allow ourselves to slow down in order to shift the frequency and the way in which we exchange energy with the frequency in which we are exchanging energy with at a higher rate of speed, a higher rate of conductibility, at a higher rate of ease. For the less we are fighting, the more we are able to ease into, what a breeze, the more we are able to ease into the light that is weaving through our channels. The light that is here now that is seeking to interact and interrupt the old programming. I'm hearing we interrupt this old programming for a message from source. Can we put the pause button on and go within long enough to play and switch up the game that we've been tuning into? For the game is no longer being played in the same way, yet some of us think we are still in the same game, and we are not. We hold a quantitative expression of a divergence. We are diverging from this idea of uh, chemical evolution, and we are resetting the bandwidths in such a way that we are evolving at a chemically charged fast rate of speed and conductivity that is lighting up a fuse that cannot be broken. And yet it can be confused with an old ideology of what this actually consists of. Let us change the view for a moment. Let us shift the perspective. Let us move through and create a new directive that allows our frequency to shift the directional interaction and exchange at a higher pace, pace, pace. New light language. Shuku wa e shi makai ni he e shi wa e ki makai ni ki u e shi ni kile te leti shi na kalo ur tish terehik in kile u tish tilehen nokura. 
Ti le ene kid i ish di niki, na ka ua he ni e shi niki a, i shi ki pa ku e ni nihi ne ki wa e shune e puku e he ne a, ni ku i shi ki wa e he ne ku pa ku i shi niki ki a, i ne ku a ni ki u shu i ne. And these languages and frequencies hold different energy exchanges. They combine with the frequency of sound and shift in a resonance that allows us to tune into a different accolade, if you will, a different uh, frequency, a different system of exchange, a different rate of exchange. It increases the consistency in which we are able to tune into these frequencies with more consistency. For those of us who have been spell bound, are uh, bound and determined to break the spell, yet by allowing ourselves to feel the joy that essentially allows us to expand into this greater spelling dictionary, geometry, way of dictating frequency, allows us to step out of the old path of ideology and dictation that has not allowed us to um, break free of the chains. Someday somebody's going to turn and make you want to say goodbye. What is that, Wilson? Break the chain? I don't know. Ah, okay. Shuku wa iniki baka shu yitiki kai ishi a hene kuku i shi maku nin. And we can tune in to so many different things right now. It is so variable in all of the expansive and variety ways, expansive varietal of ways, expansive varieties and ways in which we can shift our domain, where it is that we land. There it is, and we see it. We can see the land just over the hill, if you will. Yet, we are already there hopping along the bunny trail. And as we follow the white rabbit, we are seeking out that which it is that we have already spun. And that which it is that has already been spun has already begun. And so we are looking for something that is already here. We are that we are the rabbit in the hat, if you will, magic. We are the creators and in abundance, we are co-creating together a beautiful new reality. And so can we play? Can we weave our magic wands and say abracadabra? Can we seek through these different weavings of constructed energy points? and pick out the points that have the most relevance for us now, that allow us to be unbound, that allow us to create a beautiful binding spell that can be shifted and shifted and shifted. Okay, so I'm being called to play with this for a moment. When I do this, I took it up a notch, right? I can go slow, I can go fast, I can play with words. It feels a certain way. It feels electrical. And I'm allowing that frequency to just flow. And I'm picking out the points, the um, points on a grid or the bullet points that might highlight what it is I'm trying to communicate. But I'm not trying to communicate it. It's just coming through, although I am trying a little bit because there's part of me that does hang on a bit still. As a human, we all do that, right? So we are tri-locating. We are merging. We are moving into many different locations at once, and yet we are here now. So we are being called to use this as a way to focus and use a focal point from the heart to project out that, and this allows us to Get a jump start. I'm hearing if we slow down and go within, I'm seeing a gun being bang, like for the race, but we've already started. We think we're waiting for this gun to go off, boom, to tell us when to go, but we've already gone ahead. And we're actually, this is what's happening with time. This is why time feels so wonky. It's like I'm hearing the rabbit, the hare, right? H A R E. Um, so it's like this merge of the rabbit and the tortoise all together as one. So 
as we allow ourselves to merge with these frequencies, we band together with these new bandwidths. And with this, we realize that we are creating a whole new reality, a whole new world that is here now. And so, S-O-S-E-W, so a needle pulling thread, we weave into and thread that which it is that we are seeking to combine with. Yet if we can combine these energies together from a heartfelt frequency of inner delight, we combine more light into this weaving geometric confluence. And we influence our reality in such a beautiful fluid way weaving of light geometries that the spectacle can be seen from uh, oh i'm just seeing space or everywhere everywhere here now all at once it can be felt it can be recognized and the division no longer holds the same divisive schematic that we think that it does the division no longer holds us and instead brings us closer to a resolution. We see more and we become more resolute in a positive way. And this allows us to con convey through spirit, source, frequency, sound, a beautiful new day, a golden age, we might say. And here it is. <sighs> Think of an end on that note and so it is so just to play with that we'll do more i'll do maybe a little bit more of a question and answer q a um video on my next video so in love and light guys namaste